Hello everybody, welcome to another video from Code Shots with Profanis. We build an Angular application locally and of course we have to deploy this application on a server. Sometimes we have different environments, meaning we might have a production environment and perhaps a staging one. These environments require different settings or variables. In this video we will see how to accomplish this. So, let's get started. I have prepared an application where we have an app component, a default one, and the only thing that I have here is an API service. And if we check this, the API service, all it has is an HTTP client, and here we have an endpoint. In the get method, we have the HTTP client get, and we are providing the endpoint. All we want to do is to go to the app component ES, Invoke this method, subscribe, and do something with the data. Let's go to the browser to see what we currently have. As we can see, the request is under localhost 4200 slash users, and this is the local environment. We need to provide here a domain. So let's go into the API service, and instead of only using the endpoint here, we need also to have a domain, right? So I will create another property, private domain, which is of type string or undefined. And into the constructor, I will do this domain equals, and let's add a random one. This will be my dev.domain.com. And I will have to use this domain in this call. So I will simply do here this domain slash this endpoint. And you know what? Let's add here a slash as well. Now we expect that the request will be under dev.domain.com slash users. And this is it. This is how we have accomplished this. But wait a minute. How about now if I want to have different settings for different environment? Perhaps I have my development environment and then I have my production and my UAT. We can utilize the environments, as we can see here, which is by default two different environments. We have the environment.prod, which is for production configuration, and then we have the environment without any suffix. And this is for the localhost one. If we open the environment, we can see that we have the production false. And if we open the environment.prod, we see that we have the production true. Let's go here and Let's start using it. I will create here the domain, and you know what? I will copy this value, and I will paste it here. This is the environment.ts. Now let's go to environment.prod, and I will do the same here, but I will change this value. Instead of dev, I will name it prod. Let's close these files and go to the API service. And instead of having here hard-coded this value, I want to pick it from environment. So I will start typing environment.domain. Please note here that the environment, which is this one, points directly to this file, to a file that has no suffix. So this is my prod, and this is the environment, and this is what I'm using in this file, in this service. If I now go to the browser, we expect to see the same, dev.domain.com slash users. Nice. And how about now? How can I use the production one, the one that I used here? Let's kill the server, and I will do the same with the difference that I will use the configuration flag. Configuration, and I will provide production. Let's now go to the browser to see what we have. And here we can see that we have prod.domain.com. Nice. So this is how we can achieve using different environmental variables for different environment. And you might be wondering now, we currently have prod and we have also the development. How about if I want to use a staging, a UAT? I will copy this file and I will paste it here and let's rename this to UAT. And I will change this value from prod to UAT. 
This is the first step. The second step is to go to the Angular JSON file and we have to do two different changes. This is the name of my application and if I scroll down, we have architect, build and inside build, we have the configurations. Currently we have the production. Let's expand this. It has many files and let's copy this and create the UAT. This is the new configuration and we also have to do a change here as well. We have to point to the correct file and I want to point out to UAT, which is the file that we have just created here. This is the first change that we have to do in the Angular JSON, and this is the configuration that we take under consideration when we build the application. But how about when we serve the application? We have to go under serve and do sort of the same. I will do here UAT and again I have to point to the correct path. The name of the application build and not production but this time I'm going to use the UAT. I will now kill the server and I will rerun it but this time I will use a different configuration and this is the UAT. So this name corresponds to this value that we have just created. If I run the application without doing any change in the API service, we expect to see in the console the correct domain, the one that starts with UAT. So this is how we achieve using different environmental variables or settings on our servers. So that was it. Please stay tuned and in the next two videos I will explain two different implementations of how to use environmental variables. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe and click the ring bell. See you in the next video.